one banded chop is an anterior oblique sling strengthening exercise. So it's going to be focusing on the oblique to that opposite adductor, strengthening across to support the pubic symphysis or that front pelvic joint. With the upward band and chop, we want to attach the band around the ankle level. So if you're using a door frame, typically underneath the door would be a good place to place your band. So I'm going to grab my band. And for the standing variation, I want to stand like a little bit behind where the band is. So when my arms are straight, the band is aligned to its point of attachment. So I don't want to stand so forward because when I pull up, it's going to cause me to have to lean backwards with it. So I want to step back so the band is in front of me, but still aligned to its point of attachment. And then from here, I'm going to look towards the point of attachment and then exhale to rotate up, inhale to lower down. So exhale, I'm thinking pull the band diagonally upwards, and then inhale, I'm releasing back towards that point of attachment. The straighter I keep my arms throughout this movement, the harder the movement will be because it increases the length of the lever. The closer I bring the hands towards my chest as I rotate, the easier it's gonna be. So really focus on trying to keep those arms straight as you move through this movement. Now, if I want to advance movement, I could add some pivoting to my inside leg. So as I exhale, I'm going to pivot in that back leg to bring the band up and then bring that foot back as I bring it back towards the point of attachment. So exhale, I'm going to pivot in that inside leg and then inhale to come back in. Now, if I wanted to change up the movement, maybe make it a little bit harder, maybe make it a little bit easier because some variations work a little bit better for others, I can come into a half kneeling position. So taking a pad and putting underneath the inside knee can be helpful for this. So outside leg is going to be up and I'm going to look towards my point of attachment and then exhale to rotate away, inhale to come back, exhale to rotate, inhale to come back. And at the same time, I'm thinking keep my arms fairly straight as I go to make it more challenging. If I didn't have a band set up or if I didn't want to use the band, I can also use a dumbbell instead. So I'm going to use my dumbbell keeping my arm straight, bring it down towards my down leg, and then exhale to rotate up towards my up shoulder. So inhale, down, exhale to come up. And same thing, I want the arms to be fairly straight. And the less I can use like momentum to do it, the harder the move would be. So I almost want to think pauses at the bottom, pause at the top, pause at the bottom. And with control, I'm lifting and lowering the weight. So I don't want the weight to come here and then just swing it back. I want to have control as I come up and then control as I lower down. So you can do a half kneeling dumbbell chop instead of using a band if you want instead. Now if you needed more stability in the movement, let's say standing wasn't feeling great, the asymmetrical stances weren't feeling great, we can regress towards a seated position. So I would take my Pilates ball, put it between my thighs, my band is still attached low, and then I'm going to think exhale, squeeze the ball to turn on my adductors, and then rotate up. Inhale, release the ball as I lower down. So exhale, squeeze to rotate. Inhale to lower back down. So with the upward bandage chop, we have a lot of different variations. You could do it standing. You could pivot on the inside leg. You can do a half kneeling position. You can use a dumbbell, and we could also do seated. So finding a variation that works best for you can help to strengthen your anterior bliss sling and help to stabilize that pubic symphysis or front pelvic joint.